Good morning, friends, and welcome to the United Lodge of Theosophy, DC chapter. This lodge has a meeting every Sunday at 11 a.m., and a particular topic is presented by a student, followed by a discussion. On the first and third Sundays of the week, we have a study class in Bhagavad Gita. All those um, who are seeking to know are welcome to attend. There are no fees or collection. Uh, we welcome everyone. The Theosophical Movement proposes three fundamental axioms. The second one of which is that according to law, under cycles, all worlds come into being and after reaching the highest developmental stage, for that epoch it disappears again. Man also is under the same law and in cyclic fashion he also comes into incarnation, lives during this Kali Yuga, which is the Dark Age, about 100 years, and then departs from his body and becomes a spiritual essence in its own plane of consciousness and continues, continues with the assimilation of the experiences of that life in preparation for a hopefully higher individuality coming into incarnation again. And this process is an eternal process and it continues on. Today's reading comes from the Bhagavad Gita, second chapter, where Krishna states, Thou grievest for those that may not be lamented whilst thy sentiments are those of the expounders of the letter of the law. Those who are wise in spiritual things grieve neither for the dead nor for the living. I myself never was not, nor thou, nor all the princes of the earth, nor shall we ever hereafter cease to be. As the Lord of this mortal frame experiences therein infancy, youth, and old age, so in future incarnations will it meet the same. One who is confirmed in this belief is not disturbed by anything that may come to pass. The senses, moving toward their appropriate objects, are producers of heat and cold, pleasure and pain, which come and go, and are brief and changeable. These do thou endure, O son of Barada, for the wise men whom these disturb not, and to whom pain and pleasure are the same, is fitted for immortality. The man who believes that it is this spirit which killeth, and who thinks that it may be destroyed, are both alike deceived, for it neither kills nor is it killed. This spirit can never be destroyed in the mortal frame which it inhabiteth, hence it is unworthy for these to be troubled for all these mortals. Cast but thine eyes towards the duties of thy particular tribe, and it will ill become thee to tremble. Make pleasure and pain, gain and loss, victory and defeat the same to thee, and then prepare for battle, for thus and thus alone shall thou in action still be free from sin. Let then the motive for action be in the action itself, and not in the event. Do not be incited to actions by the hope of their reward, nor let thy life be spent in action. Firmly persisting in yoga, perform thy duty of Dhananjaya, and laying aside all desire for any benefit for thyself, from action make the event equal to thee, whether it be success or failure. Equal mindedness is called yoga. And now today's talk, which is reincarnation, and next week we will uh, discuss from the Book of Confidences, Patience.